Oh my god, it's just taken me like half an hour to- oh my god, my room's so messy. <laughs> okay, so it's just taken me like half an hour to find this post that I posted on Facebook asking for questions for Q&A. Um, and it took me like 25 minutes to find it because I, was, I kept going through my um, posts on my Facebook, but it was on highlights only. Ugh. But I eventually found it and yeah, it's my own fault for leaving it so long. It's been like Okay, so on the 10th of July, I asked you guys to ask me some questions and it's taken me this long to answer them I'm sorry guys, but it's better late than never. Yeah, and also yes, I am wearing a cat crop top <laughs> Okay, so yeah, you guys asked me a bunch of questions and I've got my laptop here and I'm gonna answer them Okay, Carla van de Kamp asks I have a lot of questions for you exclamation mark. How do you keep your skin so white and perfect? Um, sunscreen. I, I always try and be careful with that. I mean, I do sunbathe when I go on holiday and I do get a tan, but I do put a lot of sunscreen on. What's your job? Um, I have a few jobs. I work behind a bar at night. Um, I have um, a part-time office job and I do wedding photography and I do YouTube. So yeah, I've got a lot of little projects going on. I've got like a lot of part-time things. Nicole Devlin asks, are you currently in any further education or are you hoping to go into it? No, um, I finished college, oh, it's like five years ago now, oh my god that's depressing, and I was supposed to be going to uni straight from college, but the year that I wanted to go it tripled, so it would have cost me 27 grand to get a degree, and I know you don't have to pay it back unless you're earning money, but like that's a lot of money, and I just didn't think that I needed to go, like it was just my choice and I chose not to, so yeah, um, I think I'm doing okay for myself at the minute, so yeah, thank you for your question Nicole. Um, Danielle Hinge asks, how long have you been in a relationship for and how do you deal with disagreements? Um, I've been with my boyfriend for nine and a half years, longer, it'll be ten years this Christmas, so yeah that is a long time. Um, how do we deal with disagreements? We usually just laugh at each other, honestly. We don't argue much, we do argue every so often but we don't argue much and I think the main thing is talking. You know, I am the worst person ever, if Jordan says to me, what's wrong, are you okay? I'll be like, I'm fine, nothing's wrong, when really something is wrong and I should just say it and you know, that's the main thing, you've just got to talk about things and that's it. That's the key to a relationship. <laughs> Gale Levelloy, I can't say that, I'm so sorry, asks, what's something you hope to accomplish this year? Ooh, well, there's not much of the year left, um, but something that I wanted to do this year was um, pass 20,000 subscribers and I've done it, I've done that and I'm so happy and I'm, uh, I can't believe that I've got 20,000 subscribers. I know that it, in the grand scheme of things it's not a lot of subscribers compared to other YouTubers but I'm so happy and I never thought that I'd get a thousand, never mind 20,000, it's awesome and thank you so much guys. Genevieve asks, would you dye your hair all over yellow? I don't think so, I don't think that would be a thing. Um, I would dye parts of my hair yellow like I have done in the past, like the ends of my hair and like bits in my fringe and stuff like that, but I don't think I would ever go all over yellow. Paris Henry asks, what inspires you? Um, wow, so many things. Um, people, animals, movies, YouTube videos, life, everything. Honestly. She also asks, how did you decide to film YouTube videos? Well, it was something that I wanted to do for years, um, but I was just too scared to do it. I was terrified. Um, and then a friend that also does YouTube tagged me in a tag and I did the tag. And then I didn't go on YouTube for years and I didn't upload anything. But then I came back and yeah, I just all of a sudden started uploading things and because I got a couple thousand followers on Instagram I thought, yeah, I can do I can I can upload a few videos and you know, try and promote myself and see what happens and yeah, it kinda took off and yay! <laughs> Ellen asks, Do you cut your own hair too? I do. Um I try not to. I mean I cut my own fringe all the time. Sometimes I'll snip at the ends of my hair, but I'm trying not to. I'm trying to tell myself to not do that anymore because it's not very good. <laughs> Iona Jess Saunders asks, orange and yellow or red and purple? Honestly, I think orange and yellow all the way, but you've probably already decided and dyed your hair because this was so long ago and I'm really sorry. <laughs> Julia Chan asks, what do you do to keep yourself out of boredom? Shopping. <laughs> 
shopping, dyeing my hair, making videos, stuff like that, watching The Office. And what makes you feel happy brightens up your day the most. Um, what makes me happy? Animals brighten my day all the time. Julia Chan also asks, which Disney cartoon character do you want to be? That is a hard question. Wow, this is a hard question. Maybe Ariel or Ariel um, from The Little Mermaid. It would be cool to be a mermaid. I don't think that would be my number one choice, but I can't think of anything else right now. Um, cake or pie? Ooh, there's not many pie options for me because I'm vegetarian, so probably cake. Coke or Pepsi? I don't really drink Coke or Pepsi, but I think I do prefer Pepsi. I like the Diet Pepsi, even though diet ones are kind of worse for you, but I do like the Diet Pepsi or Pepsi Zero or whatever. Pepsi Max, is it? I don't know. Favourite colour? At the minute, I'm loving like mustardy colours. Definitely into that, even though it totally doesn't go in my hair, but oh well. Christina Christina has asked, what is your dream job? This is my dream job. I would love to do this full time and not have to do anything else, any other jobs. So yeah, we'll see what happens. Maybe in the future, that could be a thing. You know, maybe get into modeling a bit more. That would be pretty cool. Um, but I guess that comes with things like this, opportunities like that. So yeah. Lizzie Elmer asks, what do you want to achieve in life? By the way, you are an inspiration. Thank you, Lizzie. Thank you very much. What do I want to achieve in life? I would love to get married. Um, and it's not because I feel like marriage is necessary i don't i think people that don't get married is totally fine but i just want that day i want i just want that whole thing i do i, I do want to get married i just i just want to be happy like i just want to be happy i don't want to have to worry about money i don't want to be stuck in a nine to five job uh, i just kind of want to be free i know that sounds stupid but yeah hannah williams favorite tv series ever the Office US. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't say Friends, but I do friggin' love Friends, and I nearly bought a Friends t-shirt yesterday. I kinda wish I did now. Samantha uh, Santiago asks, what's the one thing you can't live, out, live without makeup-wise? I guess that would be mascara. Maybe a brown mascara, because you could use it on your lashes and your brows, and then, you know, I could live without everything else, I guess. Hayley LC asks, if you were an animal, what animal would you be? Hmm, probably a cat or a tiger. Same thing, I guess. What's been your favourite hair colour so far? That question is by Layla. I can't say that, I'm sorry. Ooh, I think orange or brown into blue. Who cut your hair? Exclamation mark, exclamation mark, question mark. That's by, I can't say that, I'm sorry. A hairdresser cut my hair um, at a salon called Riley, Riley Dunhelm. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but yeah. Um, that's who cut my hair and I also kind of cut it many times myself. Sarah Mustanen asks, who is your favourite inmate in Orange is the New Black? Okay, um, this would have changed like so many times. At the start it was Piper. As the series went on, I can't stand Piper anymore. And then it was Crazy Eyes. Um, and I also really love Red. But at the end of season three, is it, that's just finished, it's got to be Tiffany, Pensatucky, Doggett, whatever you want to call her. Oh my god. She was so horrible and annoying in the first seasons and then she just got awesome. And it just shows, you know, sometimes people are mean because of the past life and stuff. But yeah, I really love Doggett, Pensatucky. I don't know what to call her. She's got so many names. And I felt so sorry for her in season three. Like, it was so heartbreaking. She kicked ass in the end without giving any spoilers. Victoria Watson asks, what music artist genre do you listen to? So many, mostly like rock and indie sort of music, um, some pop music, um, kind of everything really, but mostly things that have real instruments in. <laughs> Leah McCroovy asks, if you could have any animal as a pet, what animal would you have? Love you. I love you too. Um, oh my God, I would probably have like a tiger cub or something. Or, oh, an elephant, that'd be cool. Or, or maybe like a lizard, but that's not really an outrageous pet. You can already get a pet lizard. Oh, baby monkey. Oh, I don't know, so many, so many things. <laughs> Julie asks, where would you love to travel? Anywhere, everywhere. I would just, I'd love to go everywhere. I really want to go to America. That's probably going to happen next year, hopefully. Um, I also really want to go to Belgium, which isn't far from here, so that's kind of possible. Um, so many places. <laughs> Georgie Rye asks, where are you from? You have a great accent. Thank you. <laughs> I am from Greater Manchester in England, um, in the United Kingdom. 
So yes, that is my accent and I don't care if you guys think that I don't say her properly. I don't care, I don't say hair, I say her. That's the way I say it, so screw you. <laughs> Kayla asks, what made you decide to start dyeing your hair and when did you start dyeing it? Um, I started dyeing it when I was like 13, 14. I dyed it black to start off with because I was like a proper emo kid in school. Um, and then I added some pink to my hair and then, and then I added red and I just sort of kept switching it up and then when I left school I discovered bleach and it's just been going ever since then. <laughs> this next question is from Lynn and it's kind of the same question, how, how old were you when you first dyed your hair? Could you do a video of all the hair colours you've ever had? I could, maybe. I'd have to go through a lot of old hard drives and find loads of old pictures but maybe I could do that I'll, I'll see what I can do. Daniela asks do you know Spanish or any other language? I know bits of Spanish but like I couldn't talk to anybody in Spanish I just know the odd words and the odd phrases and stuff but yeah if I had to learn a language it probably would be Spanish because I love Spain I go there a lot and yeah. Um, Nicole asks now that you are becoming so recognized would you ever consider doing a meetup? <gasps> I don't know, like maybe. I don't know if I'd be brave enough to do something like that. I'd love to meet you guys. It's just kind of really scary. I don't know, maybe sometime in the future. I don't know. Woo, scary. <laughs> I would love to give you all a hug though. <laughs> the next question is by Jana Winterhoff. Which hair colour would you never try? I don't think there is a hair colour that I've never tried. <laughs> Honestly, I don't think there is. Um, Probably none. I like all her colours. Next question is by Imelda. How many tattoos do you have in total? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> I think. Maybe I have more. Eight, I think. Eight. I think that's all the questions. I got through them all. Maybe this video is going to be like half an hour long, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I got through them all. Thank you so much for asking me all the questions, guys. I really appreciate it. And yeah, if you like these Q&As, I will try and do them more often. Because um, I, do, I do like doing them. It's cool. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And I will see you in my next video. Bye! Mm -hmm.